let's cut the bullshit and let's set the record straight. Let me show them how it should be done. Let me do things my way. Fuck AFTVFC. You have no idea what you have started. and girls welcome to my player ratings for yesterday's win against Huddersfield and what can we take away from that game other than the fact that we got three points not a lot it was not a good performance whatsoever now I know that we were missing a lot of players for this game but Huddersfield are bottom of the league they had only won two games all season but at times yesterday you had to look and say who were the team fighting relegation. It really was not that good, especially the second half. Huddersfield played really, really well. And if they can keep that up for the remainder of the season, then I'm sure they will be able to pick up some more points. I don't think it'll be enough to get them out of the, um, you know, the mess that they're in and you know, save their Premier League status, but they could be proud of that performance. They've done really, really well. And um, on another day, against a better opposition, we would have lost that game. It's as simple as that. That's how poorly we played. Too many players just did not turn up yesterday. And I don't know what's actually going on. And I don't know why there seems to be this little bit of a, a dip within the side at the moment. There don't seem to be any fluidity there doesn't seem to be any kind of cohesion within the side everyone looks a little confused I know like I said players were missing I know that there's changes because of injuries most weeks it makes things harder because we don't get any kind of a consistent you know team selection I'm trying to think the last time that Emery actually was able to play the same 11 on a consistent basis week after week without having to take players out because of injury and not just because of, you know, resting a player because of games coming up, etc., etc. We were missing Aubameyang yesterday. Ozil was ill again, apparently. Aaron Ramsey's got a problem with his knee. Granite Shaka's injured. Um, and we've known about that for a couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of players there that you're taking out of your side. And it was just really, really difficult. And um, yeah, like I said, the main thing was three points. And right now, that's what we need, three points. We need to just keep within the mix of the top four. Earlier on in the day, Manchester United have beaten Fulham. And uh, with Chelsea playing Man City today, it was important that we got that victory because we're now level on points with Chelsea. If Man City do us a favour, then that stands us in good stead. You look at the games coming up, we've got some very favourable matches over the next two games uh, before we go into a really tough double header, which is away at Spurs and at home against Manchester United. And those games there could be what define our season. They could be the difference between finishing in the top four or finishing outside the top four. It really is that simple. So, yeah, it is what it is. We, um, we got three points. We move on. And um, yeah, hopefully we can start to, you know, maybe find a bit of that fluidity again. Find a bit of, um, I don't know, it's just something missing. I said it on AFTV, it's just something missing and I can't put my finger on it, you know, right now. But um, yeah, we got three points, like I said. So with that said, I'm going to go and get into the player rating, starting off in goal, Burn Leno. And um, again, I feel really sorry for him that he hasn't got a clean sheet. Um, it's no fault of his own. It's because of what goes on in front of him. To sum it up and how bad defensively we are at times. Uh, Kalazinak scored a known goal. He put the ball in the net himself. And then he put his arm up for offside. <sighs> Honestly, I, I just can't even begin to start on that situation right there that's just absolutely comical um but yeah listen at the start of the second half he made a really really good save and um 
that was vital at the time it came. And yeah, everything else, his distribution was good. There was one instant where he came for a cross and I was a bit, whoa, stay in your line. Um, but those are parts that he's learning. And again, it was a decent enough performance. And I'll give Bern Leno a seven uh, for yesterday. I don't think he had a bad performance at all. And I feel sorry for him that he conceded a goal. Uh, Going to move into the back four. First of all, on the right-hand side, it was Ainsley Maitland-Niles. And it wasn't that bad a performance from him, actually. I thought he'd done okay out there. Um, got an assist for Lacazette's goal. Uh, there was a couple of incidents where he tried playing the ball inside and, you know, he put us under pressure. Um, but he's not a right back and we've said this before, but a decent enough performance and I'll give Maitland-Niles a seven. Uh, Going to move into the central defensive area. First of all, Koscielny. And um, I felt he played really well yesterday. Really, really well. Um, he was probably the best out of that you know, that back line and I felt he was reading the game well, intercepting a lot, getting involved. Yeah, good performance from him to be quite honest with you and uh, I think he was one of our better players and I'll give him an 8 for yesterday. Uh, Going to move to the next position, that was Mustafi and again the guy sliding all over the place. There was an incident in the first half where he went to head it back and he headed it right into the danger zone and it's just like, oh my word. The ball was going out to him on the right. He was kicking it out for throw-ins. It was like, oh, seriously, the guy frustrates the life out of me, man. For yesterday's performance, Mustafi will get a five. Uh, Going to move to the next position. That was Nacho Monreal. And um, again, not a great performance, to be quite honest with you. Didn't cover himself in glory with a goal that was scored. Flapping around just before Kalazinak and everything else. And it's just like... Honestly, um, yeah, not a great performance. Um, I'll also give Nacho Monreal a five, to be honest with you. Uh, Going to move to the next position. That was Lucas Torreira. And um, I don't know, he was doing what he needed to do. But there was times where he looked a little bit leggy out there yesterday, I felt. And he was taken off with probably a good 20-odd minutes or so to go. So um, I don't know whether that was a knock, he was feeling anything or whatever. But yeah, not a great overall performance, but done enough. But... Um, yeah, I'll give Lucas Torreira a six. Uh, next position was Gwendozi. Not as great as the performance against Manchester City. Very busy, getting himself involved, working hard, all the usual kind of stuff. Um, but again, not overly great. So I'll give uh, Gwendozi a six. I'm uh, going to move to the attacking areas. First of all, I'm going to go with Mkhitaryan. Now, I was impressed by his performance, to be quite honest with you. I thought Mkhitaryan played well. Um, I felt that he was a threat. I felt that he was always causing problems. I think he tired just before he came off, which is understandable when he's been out for so long. Um, but those minutes were doing good. And it's obvious that Unai Emery rates him. And I was impressed with his performance. I thought he'd done well, like I said. And um, yeah, for yesterday, I will give Mkhitaryan an eight. Uh, Going to move to the next position. And that was Alex Awobi. And um, do you know what? I spoke about this and it's just... I don't think it's good enough to be quite honest with you. It was, it's his end product. It, that's what really winds me up about Alex Awobi. Everything else up until the end product is brilliant. I know he scored, um, but overall his play yesterday was really, really poor. It really was. There was two incidents where he went to cross the ball and he kicked it out for goal kicks. I don't know, I just look at it and I just think, seriously, man. I know he's young and he's got to learn and he is trying to, you know, do the right things and that, but he's really got to stop producing end product. He really has. Overall, his game was not good. Despite the goal, it just wasn't a good performance in my opinion. And I'll give Awobi a five. Uh, next position was Kalazinak. And um, I don't know, man. In the second half, I think that he attacked um, a couple of times. He'd done well. He put a really good ball in um, for Lacazette. Um, in the second half and El Nenny went and jumped over Lacazette and yeah but um, obviously it was his assist for the first goal um, but like I said the incident in the injury time and what he did is just you know not a bad performance but not overly great I'll give Kalazinak a six uh, next position was Alexandra Lacazette leading the line um, not as busy and as um, dangerous as he normally is. I think he may have, you know, missed Lacazette. He was also missing a lot of supply. It was really tough for him, but what he did do was work hard. Worked really hard. Run the line, run the channels, um, got stuck in, drawing fouls. Um, yeah, decent enough performance, and I'll give Lacazette a seven. 
Um, in terms of the substitutions, El Nenny was probably the one that came on for the longest period, and he didn't really have to do too much, to be quite honest. There was one incident where, you know, he kind of got in Lacazette's way with a header and everything, but standard performance, I'll give him a five. Um, the other substitution, Denis Suarez got more minutes, but didn't really have a lot of time to affect the game, so I'm not going to mark him. Uh, manager's rating, Unai Emery. Um, I felt his hands were kind of tired yesterday a bit because of how many players were missing. So um, he'd done what he had to do with the team that he had. But I will give Unai Emery a six for yesterday. Um, we got the win. We got the three points. And um, like I said, that's what's important. So there we go. That is it. That is the player ratings for the game against Huddersfield. Um, of course, we now uh, don't have Premier League action for a couple of weeks because next weekend is the FA Cup and we are not in it. Great. Um, so we move to Europa League action um, on Thursday out in Belarus, Barte Borisov. I will be out there as per usual. Um, there'll be a match day vlog. There will be extended vlogs for that game because obviously I'm going out there for a couple of days. So I'm going to try and bring you lot along my journey with me. Um, so yeah, uh, there'll be a preview to that game in a couple of days. And then of course, the match day vlog. So um, yeah, until then, I'll see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.